All right, everyone, it is Saturday today, and I wanted to put together a video for this weekend uh, just to put, you know, try to be more consistent with my content. And so, anyways, I had a situation come up where I needed to buy a die grinder for work. And so I used a couple of die grinders. They're just, you know, your straight shaft, quarter inch, um, you know, very run of the mill uh, die grinder. One of them was a Proto and one of them was a Mac. And I'm just not really into spending 150 bucks on a die grinder right now. So I went to Harbor Freight just to check things out and see what they had. And so let me get you guys flipped around and we'll check it out. Sit tight. All right, so the the Proto and the Mac are very similar to this. Um, I watched a couple of videos and a lot of people complained that they were underpowered. Um, and that there was there was friction like right here at the housing there was something rubbing so it didn't spin freely right out of the box so um, with that in mind i went to harbor freight and then i um i checked the spindle and the spindle uh it it spun freely and then also the other problem that i have with people complaining that it did not have enough power that doesn't make any sense to me because a die grinder gets its power from an outside source. So to me, that just means your air compressor just doesn't have the capacity to keep up with it. So I have, I bought a swivel, I bought a, uh, a mandrel, and then a, I got a fitting, um, you know, of course some Teflon tape. And then I have some cutoff discs, for uh, for our test that we're gonna do and then so what we're gonna do is I have a thing set up I have a piece of quarter inch three eighths half and seven eighths and then I have a piece of inch and a quarter that is eighth inch wall thickness um, and we'll cut it off we'll just and we'll just see how it does and see what's really going on I have my air compressor set to uh, 120 pounds because I figure like if you're in a real shop setting they're going to run all of their airlines at 120 pounds and so I have an 80 gallon tank and my air compressor puts out just under 16 CFM so that should be you know more than adequate to see what this thing is fully capable of so let's put this thing together and uh, give it a shot and see what happens
All right. Hey, one more really interesting thing here that I um, noticed on this, this chief brand of mandrel from Harbor Freight is that I don't know if you can read that, but it is made in the USA, which um, kind of shocked me. And I, I, you know, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I think it was either seven ninety nine, dollars and with, with taxes, like 8 bucks and some change. Um, anyways, I thought that was really cool. Um, so let me put you guys back in the stand uh, and we'll put this together. All right, these are made by a company called Falcon Abrasives. Um, I've been using these cutoff wheels since, you know, gosh, probably for 20 some years. And I absolutely love them. They're worth the money. Um, there is a company called Tempe Abrasives. Um, so if any of you guys are out there for a really high quality cutoff wheel, um, Google Tempe Abrasives and ask for Angela and just tell her that you heard about them from a guy on YouTube with the channel of 26FE. Um, anyways, I always like to buy these things in bulk. That's the model number and everything. Great product, I promise. Especially for you guys that are in the auto body market. Okay, when you guys hear the pitch change on it, there's a little thing with a little detent in it. All right, I guess that would be max power right there at number four. And then it just goes down to three, two, and one. That's kind of cool. Um, I noticed that the Mac and the... Uh, Proto, they, their, their uh, speed control governor was right here where this is. Um, so let me see if I can get you guys set up here and we'll see if we can cut through all these and then uh, cut through that piece of, uh, of, of tubing, of square tubing. It's, I believe it's eighth inch wall. So um, let me see if I can get you guys repositioned and we'll, we'll see what we can do. So another thing too, if my air compressor kicks in, it might get kind of loud. So just bear with me. All right, we're gonna start off with a quarter inch. Three eighths. Uh, 
half inch. We're going to do the seven eights. Okay, for a piece of hot rolled 7 8 bar stock, uh, that wasn't bad at all. So let me see if I can move you into this piece of uh, uh, kind of medium wall thickness uh, square tubing. All right, you guys, uh, there it is. It is Harbor Freight item number 68831. Um, you know, for for 25 bucks, 
Um, to be honest with you, I can get six of these for the cost of one. And then even after they all break, I could probably tear them all down and, and rebuild a couple more. Um, another thing too, for the work that I'm doing is I, I got a job, uh, rebuilding mining equipment as like, so I got hired on as a mobile, hold on, let me get you guys turned around. Also, another thing too, is I feel like the, uh, you can see why I like these cutoff discs for, for what I just cut, you know, quarter, three eighths, half, seven eighths. And there's that, you know, kind of heavy wall square tubing. Um, not bad at all. That's why I like those wheels so much. Um, great little tool. I was, you know, after watching some of the other reviews, I was, you know, a little bit apprehensive, but you know, for, like I said, for 25 bucks, uh, that's, that's, that's a tough one to beat. Um, anyways, also one more thing. I want to give a quick shout out to the people that sponsor my channel. Um, Echo Saw and Supply, um, great company for if you have a porta band or a commercial, do any type of commercial cutting. They also make bandsaw blades for portable sawmills. Um, anyways, give them a shout. Uh, you want to talk to a guy named Clayton? Great people. All right, you guys. I think that's going to do it for this evening. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and you guys have a great work week. Um, I will look forward to catching up with you on the next one. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.